Rolf. Hi, Edita. Can you give me some insight into the overview of IBCS, uh, how it became a standard for report design? Well, I'll try, but give me some time. It started some 40 years ago, and so I need maybe 15 minutes to explain it to you. The uh, IBCS story started in New York with my first McKinsey training where I met Gene Zelazny and I got to know his book, Say It With Charts. I was very impressed and this really started the chart story of IBCS. Another McKinsey person which had a great influence on IBCS, it was Barbara Minto and uh, the success chapter structure is based on her MISI concept, mutually exclusive and collectively exhaustive. MIK was the name of the company which I founded together with Michael Moritz. We developed the product TZ Info and called it a management information system. Together with Michael Moritz, I published two books about management information systems covering the stage of these applications in the, in the 90s of the last century. After MIK in Constance, I joined MIS in Zurich, Switzerland, where we developed a consistent visualization concept for charts and tables. In 2003, I met Edward Tufty at his training in Washington. And I would say that his influence on the ideas of the IBCS standards is the greatest of all. The controller conference of 2004 in Munich was the first chance to present the idea of standards in reporting to a large crowd of more than 600 people. Hichert and Partner was the name of the company founded in Kreuzlingen, covering uh, training and consulting work in the world of management reports and PowerPoint presentations. At this time, there was no partner yet. More than 10 years, I worked together with Holger Gerz from Berlin, who taught me how to develop certain chart types uh, of my concept with the help of Microsoft Excel. We toured through many countries, uh, giving trainings of how to apply the tips and tricks of Holger Gerz. For several years, I've collected ideas and suggestions and rules of how to design charts and tables. And this all ended in a poster which was published in 2006. It was called High Chart Rules. Johannes von Mulert, founder and CEO of Verion, an event organization company in Kreuzlingen, Switzerland, helped me in many, many trainings, conferences and seminars to prepare, organize and market them. So uh, he is from the beginning and a very important person in the IBCS environment. First conference of companies using my suggestions for management reporting uh, was in Frankfurt, and uh, speakers came from companies like uh, Rewe and Dativ and Telecom Austria. For years, I was looking for an acronym uh, for the different topics of the standardization concept, and finally, the translator lady came up with the idea of success. And interesting is that the E in success started to be enable and then it was explain and finally we ended up with express. It took another three or four years until we received the European trademark for success. In order to visualize the seven chapters of success, I invented High, the little angel, and the demon, Low, and uh, Götz Wiedenroth, the cartoonist and designer, developed several pictures showing them in action. Another idea of uh, visualizing the success rules was a series of cartoons which I developed together with Götz Wiedenroth again. There was even a high chart cartoons poster. 
The 2009 annual report of the Swiss Post was the first important public application of the new uh, visualization rules. And on the first page it said 20 millimeters is equivalent to 1 billion Swiss francs. And the whole visualization was using the same scale throughout the report. In October 2009, we had a training in Düsseldorf where short videos of the seven success chapters were taken and published on YouTube. Until now, we had more than 150,000 views of these videos. With a new acronym SUCCESS, I developed a new poster with these uh, seven chapters. This poster was called the SUCCESS RULES. The first certification course took place in Konstanz in 2010. Now we had more than 25 courses and a long list of certified consultants are on our website. The first trainer was Dietmar Pascha in 2010 from the Controller Academy and uh, as you can see on the photo from the trainer meeting in Barcelona, this group of trainer was growing quite rapidly. Graphomate was uh, the first uh, certified software tool for charts and tables in 2011. Today we have certified 11 software tools so far. The first meeting for recertification of the consultants took place in Konstanz in the year 2011. The Hamburg company Blueforte was our first certified provider with three or more certified consultants. Uh, nowadays we have certified nine companies for uh, IPCS consulting. In the years 2012 and 13, I developed a new poster concept called Notation Concept. And here you see that uh, the old colors for the data scenarios uh, have been already replaced by solid outline hatched. An important uh, event took place in Frankfurt in June 2013, where we had around 70 participants. And the flyer, as you can see, already shows the solid outline hatched concept and other things of the new layout concept of IBCS. We had interesting sponsors, as you can see here, and speakers from SAP, German Telecom and others. Interesting was the presentation of SAP showing before and after examples of their internal notation concept. And here are three photographs that show impressions of this event. In combination with the Frankfurt conference of 2013, we had another meeting of the certified consultants. There were around 20 already. Here you see two pictures and we discussed the situation of founding an association already in 2013. After so many years developing chart concepts based on Excel together with Holger Gerz, we published this book which showed all these 120 different tricks, in, first in German and then in English. In July 2013, we had a startup team meeting for the new association in Zurich. And here you see uh, seven people taking part and a few months later also the documentation of the articles of association, which you see here. 2013 was an important year because Jürgen Feist took part in the ninth certification course and thereafter I could convince him to become partner of me and my company and uh, he left his job being a CEO of a software company and joined me 2013 and later we founded the company in 2014. As you can see, 
Jürgen is a musician too, and so he was a great help of defining and updating the standards, which I developed the first years being an engineer. And so engineers plus musicians produced these IBCS standards. At the end of 2013, I spent together with Jürgen Feist one week in our cottage up in the Swiss mountains to redefine and redesign the poster. And the new poster with a new structure and new ideas was called IPCS with success. In 2014, three important subjects I would like to mention. First of all, our first general IBCS general assembly in Frankfurt. Secondly, foundation of the new company Hichert and Feist in Düsseldorf. And the third one is that we finally received the trademark IBCS as a word as well as the logo IBCS. When looking at poster with almost 100 detailed rules, people kept asking us to tell us which are the top 10 most important rules of IBCS. And so we developed the top 10 poster after asking at least 10 different groups of people what they think are the most important ones. And here you find the top 10. The annual conference in Amsterdam was the first one outside of Germany. We were invited by Philips with the headquarters in Amsterdam and Maurice Verhagen was the one helping us to arrange this event. Maurice was responsible for a very important large reporting project within uh, Philips. In this year, Jürgen and I, with the help of many members of the association, published the first version of the standards, followed by version 1.1 in 2017. SAP invited us to produce a course with the title Semantic Notation, the next big thing in BI. And you probably ask yourself, what has this to do with an open SAP course on semantic notation and business intelligence? So far, more than 8,500 participants took part in this course. The 2016 annual conference took place in Warsaw, Poland. Edita was our host. She planned and arranged the conference, which became a wonderful event. In May 2017, Edita took part in, in our 20th certification course in Constance. In the meanwhile, Edita is an important part of the IBCS management, helping Jürgen more and more when I start to retire. Javier was the host of our annual conference 2017 in Barcelona. Javier, together with Johannes, planned everything and made us a great success. At the end, everyone was wearing IBCS glasses and throwing plastic balls around. Four years after receiving the European trademark of IBCS, we finally managed to get the domain IBCS.com. There is a entry in Wikipedia which Heinz Steiner wrote. Johannes von Mulot was again organizing our 2018 conference in London. My old friend James Noble was supporting him. They found the great venue One Morgate Place, which is headquarters to the Institute of Chartered Accountants of England and Wales. The keynote was from Professor Convax, and here you find a few impressions of the event. Hightard was showing off with the new IBCS umbrellas. And here you see the participant picture we took at the end. In 2019, Jürgen and I finally managed to publish the German books Gefüllt, Geram, Schraffiert, and later the English version of Solid Outline Hatched, with a focus on the notation concept. Not only the present IBCS rules, but also some future ideas, plus uh, applications in different companies and different standard reports to show that IBCS works in practice. One year later, the annual conference took place in Vienna. The conference of 2020 was a virtual one. The first time we ever tried to organize it, not everything worked fine, but more than 200 participants were quite happy at the end. We had 15 sponsors helping us 
to finance this event. And we had a keynote from Bernie Smith talking about how to measure and develop KPI systems. At the end, there were some workshops like the one from Marcus Wolf about Excel tricks. In 2021, we really became virtual because Jürgen created our new online course, Solid Outline Tales in German as well as in English. This project took him very many weeks, but the many participants so far gave him excellent ratings. In 2021, we had to organize another virtual conference and Berlin has to wait now until 2022. It was an interesting program and we had many participants from many different countries and we started with a discussion about what managers, executives expect from information systems, from dashboards and reports and of standards. And it ended with Jürgen's presentation of the new version of the standards 1.2. Well, Edita, this was the timeline of the last 40 years, which led to uh, to IBCS, and we all hope it's going to become a standard. Um, I hope I could give you a little intro overview. Impressive, really. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.